Welcome into Duval Daily presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo here with a quick Jaguars injury update for you as they prepare to take on the Texans in week five in front of a home crowd for the second time in 2022. Outside linebacker Caleb on chase on rotational player missed last week's contest with an ankle. He is officially questionable as is wide receiver Zay Jones who's dealing with an ankle as well, and offensive lineman Cole Van Lannon, who has a hamstring. All three players missed last week against the Philadelphia Eagles, but all three are questionable this week. While they're listed as questionable on the game status report, Doug Peterson said they should be good to go earlier in the day, so I think it's trending towards all three of those players participating in this one. Unfortunately for the Jaguars, they have had to rule out defensive lineman Foley Fatu Kasi. He's dealing with a quad injury that he suffered in the second quarter of the Jaguars' loss to the Eagles. He's out, so the Jaguars will have to resort to plan B when it comes to uh, what they're going to do on their defensive interior in these base packages where they're trying to load up and stop the run, slow down Damian Pierce, and the Texans' rushing attack, looks like they're probably going to turn towards defensive lineman Corey Peters, who they picked up on the practice squad just a day after the um, regular season opener against the Commanders. Corey Peters is a longtime NFL veteran. He's played under defensive line coach Brinson Buckner in Arizona. He's familiar with Mike Caldwell's scheme. So I think it's a somewhat of a seamless transition there. I'm not saying that Peters is playing at the same level as a Foley Fatu Kasi, who's in his prime. Corey Peters is 34 now. But as recently as last year, went back and checked out some of the tape. Corey Peters looked like he still had juice against the run, plays with good leverage, high motor, great strength. I think he can come in and play that Foley Fatu Kasi role for your defense. Um, leave Devon Hamilton at nose tackle, or you can rotate them. Have You can deploy them however you want, it looks like, because I do think Corey Peters has a, has a history and experience playing kind of multiple spots on the defensive line, like many of the Jaguars' current defensive linemen. I think you could see a lot of Adam Gotsis, a lot certainly we'll see a lot of Roy Robertson-Harris. The Jaguars could also look to Israel Antwine, who's on the practice squad. He's a rookie out of Oklahoma State who had – a really good summer, a really good preseason and training camp for the Jaguars. So they could look in that direction as well. But I'm expecting Corey Peters to be called up um, for the Jaguars this week as they, again, try to load up and slow down Damian Pierce. Jaguars had some trouble last week slowing down the run against Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders. Not quite the same rushing attack in Houston. More of a um, more of a, a traditional rushing attack with with Damian Pierce, you're not going to get those read options that threaten you the same way um, with with Davis Mills at quarterback versus Jalen Hurts. But still, a big challenge as as Damian Pierce has kind of set the league on fire the last couple weeks. He's fourth in yards after contact per attempt, so he's running hard, running well. Busted off a 75 yarder against the Chargers next week. But the Jaguars will have Corey Peters, it looks like. They might bring up Israel Antoine as well. They like what they have in Devon Hamilton, Adam Gotzis, Roy Robertson-Harris, and the rest of that interior defensive line. We'll see how it plays out. They were the number one run defense in football going into Philly, had big-time struggles. They still look like they're one of the better run defenses in the game to me. But how does that look without Foley Fatu Kasi against the Houston Texans and Damian Pierce? We will find out this Sunday at 1 p.m. Thank you so much for tuning in, Duval. Reminder to follow me at Jordan DeLugo on Twitter, Generation Jag, or at Generation Jag, and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for tuning in, and happy Friday.